Hey, this is Scott Smith from Cobra Firing Systems. And I'm Will Harvey from Finale Fireworks. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today, we're really gonna be providing you some basics on how to create a show within Finale, and then ultimately export that directly to your 18R2 remote control. Uh, in addition to that, we're gonna talk a little bit about addressing and what addressing is, which is essentially assigning the channel and the queue to each of the events within the show. Uh, in Finale, those are actually known as a rail and pin. However, when they are exported, uh, they will be recognized as a channel and queue within Cobra. So, Will Harvey, go ahead and let's get us started. All right, great. Well, I think you're looking at my screen right now. We'll start by just designing a show real quick. Um, I'll select the positions to add an effect to, and then I'm going to click on an effect up here in the palette to add the effect to all of the positions. You can see right now we've got a show with a lot of shells going off at once, one per position. To make it a little more interesting, I'll put them into a sequence. Now you can see on the timeline, the times are a little bit different. And if I scroll through, it goes from left to right. So here's the show that we're going to assign firing system addresses to and export for the Cobra firing system. After designing the show, what we need to do is assign the channel and queue number for Cobra, which in finale, as Scott said, are called the rail and pin. That's these two columns here, which are blank in the script window. To do that, we go to the addressing menu and we do the address show menu option. We select Cobra as the firing system. And then we've got a choice of some different script file formats for the Cobra. There are a lot of choices here. So let me defer to Scott to explain what the differences are. Yeah, absolutely, Will. So the first thing you'll notice in the beginning is it has the firmware version. So you'll see here we've got Cobra 5.0, 4.0, 3.0, uh, future 6.0 release. So based on the firmware that you're using, which you can identify by just simply turning on your 18R2, so whatever the first uh, number you see, for example, if you see 5.0, that's gonna be your 5.0 release. So once you have your firmware determined, you know where to choose within these options. And basically I have four different options. I'll spend a few seconds just kind of explaining. Uh, the standard script at the top, that's really just a basic timed event script. So it's everything you would expect um, based on the design of the show that we have right now with the event times, the channels, and the cues firing. This is really the most popular choice and that you're probably going to end up choosing. Uh, the next option is actually a step script by events. So there is a feature within Cobra where you can actually design your show within Finale. And instead of having event times where everything fires based on kind of a, almost like a stopwatch that's going, uh, if you choose step script, this will actually export the script with the word step instead of the event time for all the events. And then what you can do within your 18R2 controller is when you start the script, you simply press that stop button over and over and over to execute the next event. So it's kind of a manual show that you kind of pre-designed within Finale. Uh, the next two options are essentially the exact same thing, steps, uh, standard scripts by tracks and step scripts by tracks. Uh, we'll cover this in a separate video, but what you can do within Finale is you can actually break out sections of the show and within the actual 18R2, you can press different buttons to execute those different sections of the show independently. Like I said, we'll cover that within the new uh, video, but I'll pass it back to you, Will. Great, all right, for this video, we're gonna do the standard script, as you were just saying, which is like the stopwatch, you started at the beginning and it plays to the end. So that's the selection you do, you click enter. You get a summary dialogue telling you how many modules are required and how many pins or cues are required. We have nine positions in this show and it tells us we're using nine modules, which makes sense, one module per position. If we look down here in the rail and pin column, remember it used to be blank, it's, it's now got numbers in it and it has the channel numbers corresponding to the nine modules and the pin numbers corresponding to the queue. There's only one queue on each of those modules that's used for the show. With those numbers assigned, we can now export the script for Cobra with the file export export firing scripts command. And at this point, you'll save it onto your USB drive. Uh, Scott, can you tell them specifically what to do? Absolutely. So you'll notice where it says file name in the lower left. 
you're going to go ahead and just type in the word COBRA. So you'll always want to type in COBRA. Uh, it is case insensitive, so you can have capitals or lowercase uh, letters within here. And we're just going to go ahead and save that directly to the thumb drive. And for just basic demonstration, uh, I'll pretend that the script is now on this thumb drive. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your 18R2. You're going to place that thumb drive right into the 18R2. You're going to power it on. Once it finishes booting up, you're going to see some LEDs spin around briefly. And it's going to display all green once that script has been imported. Uh, if there are any errors, it will display all red. However, with the finale error checking, we should not see that. Great. OK, I've got my thumb drive in here. I'll save the Cobra file. Here it is. Uh, let's take a look. Um, can you give people a little explanation? Yeah, absolutely. So we're taking a look at the actual raw file. Uh, you'll see first in row two that we have the number zero followed by the number one. That is just simply the trigger channel and the trigger button. So with Finale, we actually default to channel zero, Q number one to start the show. So once you arm the 18R2, go to channel zero, press Q1, that'll start the show. Uh, you'll all notice that we have the uh, events listed here as well, including the event time, channel Q, and description of the event. And one thing to mention is that within row two, there's actually a lot of uh, attributes or arguments that we refer to that you can place within this. Uh, we'll cover this in a separate video. We'll also include some links in the description below for you to get more information on how those work and what features are supported. Terrific. All right. Well, I think uh, users are now set to script a show in Finale and export it for Cobra and uh, shoot the show. Thank you, everyone. Um, that's it for me. It for me. I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Bye, everybody.